This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. Alrighty, we are removing this what I believe is a 1983 G, I know it's a GE. GE. I actually sent out a text to my buddy Ted Cook with the serial number. He's looking it up for me right now. We'll wait for his confirmation. This compressor is shorted to ground. With, a B, with another BX whip that we took off the disconnect. We'll put a liquid tight, seal tight whip. Going back with a Weather King, it's another budget job. But I mean, you can see, they don't build them like this no more. Three capacitors. That's the original contactor, folks. That is the original contactor. Original fan motor, original fan blade. Everything on here is original. I believe it's from 83. Let me find the uh, serial number. Badge, here it is. Again, my buddy Ted Cook is looking it up right now. We should get confirmation from him shortly. All right, we'll take you guys along today. All righty, we have the Weather King in place. Again, we're gonna put a new whip because they were using BX. The copper looks nice, got a nice straight shot. And again, using a combination of a Street 90 and a Street 45 to get the correct bend. And then this here, I just bent by hand and came out. Uh, normally, I'm a, I'm a little more particular about my copper work especially that 3 8 but guys honestly these people could barely afford this job so not that I'm going to do a bad job but that doesn't look horrible but normally I do do a better job on my liquid line than that especially when I have my benders I've got to buy me another set of benders but I think it looks good uh, and also I put the unit here instead of there because we don't have much room to work with but I believe we do have I think these units call for six inches of clearance and we've got exactly six so and it, it's a be a lot easier to work on like this so what we'll do is we'll come down with the whip follow the line set and then come up Everything will look real neat when I'm done. I will. All right, guys, brazing's all done. My line set came out nice. Uh, I've got 223, 24 pounds of pressure with big blue. I don't know if you guys can see the big blue residue. Right here. On all my joints and we're leak free, no bubbles. So the coil is rated for 410A. That's the only way I'll swap out a condenser unless they want to do a 407C unit from uh, the York store. But this is a 410A. It's a newer train gas furnace with evaporator. It's made for 410A. It's actually a piston train coil. It takes the little bitty bullet piston like the old York units at Nordine. So I'm gonna go swap the piston out and, uh, and then start the vacuum. All right, well, we got a helicopter here, but I sent my cousin inside to go get a wet bulb and the customer's following him. So we're all done. All we got to do is put the cover back on the disconnect. Uh, we unscrewed the cover so we could work. We have our new whip going into the unit. The Weather King is running. They're quiet machines. This is another three ton. So it has a Bristol resip in it. Once I, uh, you know, put my Armaflex and all that on. I'll strap this to the wall 
and then you know tidy this up against the line set. So we have a new uh, steel tight. I know I think it's called liquid tight, but I call it steel tight. Uh, it doesn't have the metallic in it. It doesn't have metal in it. But uh, we replaced that BX with that, and she's running good. The line set came out pretty nice, I think. And uh, it seems to be cooling. We're a little we're a little low on charge, but it's only been running about five minutes. It is a piston. Like I said, when he gets back over here with the wet bulb reading, we'll calculate the target superheat. Hey guys. Well, I didn't really get to get any more footage on that job. Uh, basically, we just, you know, we pulled the vacuum and started it up. It ran great, set the charge to 25 superheat. And, uh, that it was a target superheat of 25 the the customer was a major helicopter but i wanted to just shoot this real quick to let you guys know that ted cook finally did text me back thank you ted if you're watching and um that unit was not a 1983 that unit was a 1978 ted i guess can look up ge stuff on his comfort site for train and I sent him a picture of the model and serial number and a picture of the unit because I thought he'd like that. And I asked him if he knew exactly what year it was. I told him I thought it was an 83. And uh, he said he would look it up. And he texted me back and said it was, I don't remember what week. He gave me the week also of 1978. So that unit was, I'm not good at math. Uh, that's so that's 40 that's over 40 years old because uh that's 41 years old because my sister was born in 79 and she's 40 so yeah that's a 41 year old unit unbelievable they don't make them like that anymore i guarantee you the weather king i put there won't last 41 years that's for sure anyway guys i uh, just want to say thank you for watching i truly appreciate the support and um I thought, I know, I, this probably wasn't the best video, but, you know, I had to shoot it for, especially for that old dinosaur, man. You just, those are starting to become few and far between nowadays. So it's always cool to see one of them. All right, guys, thank y'all. We'll see you guys on the next one.